But this is a problem that I need to sort out. I've looked online, but all of the racks that you can put spray paints in are super expensive. So I'm just going to build my own. Gives a flipping <laughs> procrastination, loss of motivation, and distractions. These are the enemies. As crazy as it sounds, an England World Cup semi final kicks off in just a minute. Let me explain. When I started this video, I had a vague idea. I simply wanted to show there was a problem. I couldn't organize my paints well, and my studio was getting messy. The plan was to build a storage unit. Build it, film it, edit it, make it look nice, end of episode. I underestimated the job in hand, both making the video and making the rack. One of the problems with creative people is a tendency to be unable to finish things. It started to feel like the success of my journey and the success of this channel was depending on whether or not I was going to finish what simply is a storage unit for spray paint. The idea was simple. A square wooden frame, circular inserts for all of the paints, a kind of honeycomb for spray paint. I started with confidence, building the frame, putting in the tubes to fit the paints perfectly. Soon, these walls began to grow around the project. I ran out of material for the slots, so the building had to stop. Soon enough, my studio had descended into utter chaos. As I sat on the floor of the studio, surrounded in clutter, I had lost all hope, but there was this voice power through. I began mounting all of the tools and equipment in different sections of the studio. Suddenly this transformation started. I could see the very faint glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. So this is where I'm at now. I've mounted the frame on the wall. It's about 80% finished. It looks pretty good and uh, I can see the end now. We just need to get that rack finished. Hopefully it will all have been worth it. What's that, Casper? Someone's trapped down the well. No, wait, no. Subscribe? <laughs>